Alrighty, so I have gotten my antibiotics finally. <laughs> Yay! I would be more hyped, and this is sad to admit, but I'm really, really sore all over my body, especially my whole back and my legs. Like every like step that I take feels like just weighted and like my thighs hurt and my hamstrings hurt, everything just hurts because I moved around the apartment too much yesterday. It's the most pathetic reason ever. I was printing out my writing because I'm working on a book and I was printing out my writing that I've worked on for many years and I wanted to kind of compile it and start editing it down as part of my process. And I was printing out like tons and tons of pages and I would get up and go to the printer and then go back to my computer and like that process has made me this sore. I feel like we've reached a whole new level of like pathetic weakness and like muscle degradation. The weakness has gotten especially bad in the past month and it just gets worse and worse and so I'm so ready to be hopefully starting to get better. So I'm gonna start these tomorrow and I'm gonna vlog my whole process of taking the antibiotics and how I feel and if anything gets better. So they stay with me. <laughs> First pill down, um, many to go. I hope it doesn't make me feel worse. That's like my biggest fear is that I'm gonna feel worse before I get better. I don't even know what to say. Like this exhaustion and soreness is so bad. Like it hurts to lift my arms. It hurts to move my legs. Like I can barely think. My vision is blurred. Like every muscle in my body hurts. And it's just from like doing daily activities. Like I feel so bad, like just so weak. And Robert and I are supposed to be moving this weekend and we haven't packed anything. And I don't know how I'm gonna help him because I just feel so bad. I can't vlog anymore. Like I just need to get out of here and go home. Like my arms hurt so bad I can't even lift the camera anymore. I think I'm starting to react to the antibiotic a little bit. I don't feel any cramping or anything like that. No gas, like nothing kind of intestinal but my stomach I think is reacting to it because I have this pain like right below my ribs where my stomach is. Just this dull aching pain that keeps getting worse and it's been kind of creeping up on me all morning but I've been kind of pushing it off and now it's like just getting worse. So fun times. Okay, so I'm still not feeling great but I was able to help Robert pack up some stuff for the move and move some of the stuff to our new apartment, just small things but still. That pain that I was having in my stomach did persist for like an hour or two and then it got better and I haven't had any of that like sharp pain since and bloating is kind of how it normally is and my appetite is extremely low like way lower than normal like I didn't even want to eat lunch Robert had to like make me dinner because I just like wasn't even thinking about about doing it third dose of the day I got to overestimate how far I could lean in <laughs> oh my god Ta -da -ta -da. first day is done let's do it So I rested all morning and now I'm feeling a lot better. I think I was just really overexerted from the move and from just like being really sore because I'm finally, now that I'm like dressed and everything, I'm not feeling as sore. Um, I haven't really had any side effects from the antibiotics yet today and I'm having some green juice. So we'll see how it is. Ta-da! This is gonna be really good when I'm up to eating it. This is chana masala and like vegetables and rice, so it'll be very good for later. Robert and I have been packing all day to get ready for our move, and I haven't really had any effect from the antibiotic that I have felt. Um, my appetite has been really low. Like, I feel like it's been lower than normal. That's kind of the only thing. All I've eaten today was like a green juice, a couple protein bars, and um, some, some gummy bears. But then for dinner, I did have a big plate of like veggies and rice and beans, so that was really good. So I'm gonna take my third dose of the day. 
I'm drinking lemon water. Um, I didn't squeeze like a real lemon. I just put this in there because I don't have the energy to squeeze a real lemon right now. And I also put one cap full of Miralax in there. I really have mixed feelings about taking this. I think the idea of taking a laxative forever is a really dumb idea and I don't want to become dependent on laxatives but Robert was like well the doctor told you that you should take laxatives and you should take a cup full of mirror a cup full of Miralax a day you should listen to the doctor yada 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 so I listen to the doctor I'm gonna drink my lemon and Miralax water and um I will talk to you guys tomorrow for posterity's sake of like showing the effectiveness of the medication if it works I should like show the bloat, but like I said, I haven't really had any real food today besides dinner because I just had protein bars and candy, so take it with a grain of salt, but I will show you. <laughs> That's the bloat. Are you gazing upon the tumbling? Yes, I am. It's like rock hard. Do you want to feel it? No. Oh, jeez. <laughs> should we measure it? No. I want to measure it. No. It's usually like 34 inches. The vlog doesn't need to know. But I measure my tummy. So I'm just sitting in my car. Um, I'm about to have a different car because I'm dropping this car off for repairs. Um, yeah, I'm just sitting in my car. I just wanted to report that I really don't feel good. Like ever since I started taking the antibiotic, I don't feel like I get hungry at all. Um, so this morning I had like my normal like protein bar and then normally like by this time in the morning I would have more snacks and stuff, but I just don't feel hungry at all. Um, but I feel like weak and like lethargic and I don't know like, what's going on um I'll get a snack when I get back in my rental car but it's just I don't know I hope the antibiotics help but if they don't help I don't know what I'm going to do so I was like oh I don't feel good I'm dropping off my car and I just wanted to update so I have a problem one of my symptoms is like vomiting and I've said before that I don't vomit like a lot but I'll kind of vomit like small amounts throughout the day and I also get nausea a lot which was never a problem like a few years ago before this all started and so I was cleaning out my car and I got so nauseous that I just started throwing up like it tastes super sour like it tastes like like a sour candy but like not sweet like just disgusting um because it's stomach bile so I started throwing up stomach bile like on one side of my car outside like on the ground and then I went around to the other side to clean out that side and I threw up over there and it's just stomach bile like it'll dry it's not gross or anything it's it's gross tasting but like if someone were to see it they wouldn't think it was gross but it's just like I a part of me does have doubts that the antibiotic will help with this aspect because I have not really heard um, about nausea and vomiting being like a primary symptom of SIBO but hopefully this med does help with that because it's weird to all of a sudden be like with no warning like doubled over and like coughing up stomach bile on like both sides of my car <laughs> Alrighty, so taking today's second dose it's about two so this is the latest that i've taken like a midday dose but i think it'll be fine I'm about to go back into work after lunch. Um, for lunch, all I had was some gluten-free crackers or like seed crackers and some cheddar cheese, um, which is actually naturally lactose-free um, and is pretty high protein. So that should have been a really good lunch for me. You know, not high volume, high calorie. And um, I had like the spoonful of like marshmallow fluff afterwards just to have some sweetness. And I'm super nauseous. So just wanted to update that symptom is still with me. So I was literally like walking to the door to punch in and go inside the office and then I just threw up in the grass just marshmallow fluff and cheese so lovely let's actually go inside without throwing up this time let's do that 3 30 right now and I'm so bloated that it hurts to breathe I'm not hungry at all and I have got a bunch of orange slices like and pack them for a snack but I'm not hungry at all so I'm probably not gonna eat those and like I'm just so bloated like my whole stomach feels hard and it, like hurts to breathe like I've not even eaten that much today I had what a protein bar a couple of like a little like fruit candy or fruit strip things almonds cheese and crackers like that's it and it's 3 30 Oh, and a spoonful of marshmallow fluff. And like, I feel so bad and like over full. So I'm leaving work now. Um, symptom update, I'm still not hungry. I never ate the oranges. I'm having a lot of acid reflux and heartburn. And I also have not pooped yet. So still waiting on 
the poop of the day. All right, so Robert and I are driving to Duke's campus again. We were there yesterday um, to get lunch, and we're going there today for dinner um, because we're packing tonight, and we just want some really good food, and they have Indian food there that I really like. So I was doing I was doing really well with the Indian food. I felt like really good. I ate my whole plate of it. I was like, yes, I'm doing good tonight. And then Robert and I went on a short, like 10 minute walk around Duke Gardens. And then we started walking up the steps to the apartment and I just threw up like chunks just into my hand. And I didn't know what to do because I had like a handful of like chunks that I had to like walk it down here and like throw it in the grass. It's been a very vomity day, very vomity day. I feel like it's gonna happen again, so I'm gonna turn off the camera. So after our Indian food, Robert was like, oh, you're not as bloated as you normally are. And I was like, well, I will measure it. <laughs> and my stomach is 34 inches around, so it's not 35 like it was last night, but it is 34 and it's very bloated. But yeah, I'm gonna do my Miralax soon while I finish up our packing project. I'm gonna do my Miralax, as I've been told to do by the doctor and by Robert. So we dump the whole cap full in. And then we add our lemon juice. I feel like it's better with like a lot of lemon juice, so I'm just like putting a lot in. And then yeah, I'm just gonna drink this and finish packing. I don't even need to like lift up my shirt to show you. Like you can see like the bloat is very intense. And it's like rock solid. Like I'm not like pushing it out or anything. Like it is, it is rock freaking solid. <laughs> I've honestly never just like sat down in our closet before. So I'm just sitting in the closet. I just threw up again. It really burned this time because like it's more digested. So it just was really uncomfortable. Not a whole lot, like a small amount, but still. Um, I did finally, um, I did finally poop today. Got my once daily poop. <laughs> That's all my updates that I have really. But the nausea, I have some days where it's really, really bad and then some days where it's like, I don't have it. And I know my appetite isn't right. Like I'm underweight for like what I need to be and I don't even get my period anymore. I haven't gotten my period in like months. And so now that means like my body is fully like starving and just trying to survive. And like my appetite is still so low. So I just took my midday dose. Um, I'm basically living off protein bars and fruit and chocolate today because today is our move date and we just had a lot going on. Nausea is low, not having a vomity day like yesterday thankfully, but I am extremely bloated and appetite is low as always. Anyway, I am really, really bloated and I just feel disgusting, like I just, feel fat like because I'm just so bloated and I haven't eaten anything since 1 p.m. and what I ate at 1 p.m. was a peanut butter cup and some kombucha I didn't eat like a meal so I'm j I haven't really had a meal all day I've just had like protein bars and some kombucha and have just been working through like everything that's going on in like my personal life yeah and I also pooped today I had a really good like poop this afternoon so I don't know why I'm still like so bloated oh wait well because I have SIBO but I'm gonna get some dinner and then I'll take my final dose of the day. So one more thing I wanna say. Um, like I my stomach is huge right now. Like it's huge, I feel disgusting, and I and I have barely eaten today, and I'm still not hungry, even though I've been like working really hard on the move. Like the loss of appetite is one of the worst things for me besides like the nausea and the vomiting. Like it's the loss of appetite, the nausea and the vomiting that brought me to the point where I was going to see a doctor about it. Cause I can do, even though bloating makes me feel disgusting, like I can deal with it. And like a little bit of constipation here and there, that's fine. But it's like those three symptoms that like brought me to seeing a doctor. So I just crushed two of these. I love these. They're um, they're literally just rice, avocado, and um, seaweed. Excuse me. Burping is a problem for me too. <laughs> so they're literally like rice, avocado, and sushi or, or seaweed. I sound so attractive. I'm so amazing. So hot. Um, and they're just really easy on my stomach. They have like good fats in them. I love them. So I just crushed two of those and I'm drinking this which is really tasty. Kefir soda. 
and I'm gonna take my dose, my last dose of the day. And no, I did not punch someone. Um, it's just been a stressful day, lots of hand washing, so. Um, yeah, let me take this. So I was doing so well with not throwing up today. And I just threw up all over the floor of the bathroom that I've been trying to clean for us to move out. <laughs> uh, just like chunks of seaweed. Let me just show you my bloat. And as long as I'm freaking showing you guys stuff, let's just do the bloat, post dinner bloat. Yep. There's the bloat. Big old bloat. <sighs> I, I thought that throwing up on the bathroom floor was the only time that I was gonna throw up today, and I was wrong. Um, we're in our new apartment now, and as I was carrying things up into our new apartment, I threw up, and I had to like put everything down and just like lean over into the mulch and just do it, and then pick everything back up and walk back upstairs. <laughs> Okay, I'm so used to it now that I just like handle it and then go back on with what I'm doing. I don't make a big deal about it because I throw up multiple times every day and that is just my life. So it is Wednesday morning and I just want to report <laughs> that my stomach is still huge and bloated from yesterday. So, so far I don't really feel any different on the antibiotics. Like just look at this. <laughs> like I freaking look like just so pregnant like and it's hard as a rock too like it is just a hard as a rock and it's just like oh my gosh and I haven't eaten or drank anything today this is just baseline guys oh um even though I did a lot of activity yesterday because we were moving I have no appetite this morning. Like the bloating is just so painful. So I don't know what I'm gonna eat or when I'm gonna eat, but I'm not gonna eat right now because I'm in a lot of pain, so. Even though I forgot to take my Miralax last night with everything going on, I just had a really great poop. So, go me. So, if I burp during this clip, I'm just gonna let it happen because my symptoms are just so bad today. And like, I don't think there's gonna be a moment where I film where like, I know that I'm not gonna burp. Like, it just, it might happen. Um, like my bloating has continued to be bad this entire day. Um, I've barely been able to eat today. I've had no appetite and I've had a horrible heartburn. And then when I try to eat, I just feel worse and I get afraid that I'm gonna throw it up. And I have thrown up a little bit today. And the first thing that I ate today was at like 10 a.m. And I had some just plain dried mango. There was no sugar on them even. It was just like organic dried mango. I ate that with some water and then I threw some of it up. And then a few hours later, I had like um, a plant-based protein bar and I ate that and that kind of did okay. And that was some extra calories, so that was good. And then a couple hours later, um, I had one of these, uh, one of these. And these tend to do really well on my stomach and I thought I'd be able to drink two of them because like I know I'm not getting enough calories even though I'm not hungry and have no appetite and feel terrible. So I tried to drink a second one of these but like I had like two sips and I couldn't drink anymore like it's I used to tell myself like if I just push through and make myself eat I will gain weight and push through this but like I physically can't make myself eat or I vomit like today is just a really hard day I feel weak I feel shaky my stomach is so distended like it's so hard to believe that a pill is gonna solve all of these problems I want it to but it's hard to believe that so anyway I'm leaving work and going home so talk to you tonight. I just got home and I'm about to go inside, but the other thing I wanted to say is I have pooped twice today and they were both fabulous poops. So I hate when doctors tell me that my symptoms are just worse because of constipation because it's like, I'm having glorious poops over here, freaking sliding out, like freaking great poops. So like, 
what's wrong with me? So I'm filming this clip in our office. Robert set it up today. So I'm actually gonna have a desk for like video editing and writing and I'm so, so excited. But anyway, as far as symptoms, after I got home from work, Robert and I went and got dinner and I was actually hungry because I had like barely eaten all day and like we didn't get dinner until a couple hours after I got home. So we went and got dinner and it was like really, really, really good. I got um like this spicy broth with like rice noodles, like a ton of rice noodles and like spicy chili sauce, which spicy doesn't bother my stomach. I don't know why, but it doesn't. So like spicy chili sauce and like shrimp and like steamed shrimp and like just gentle veggies like cucumbers and peppers and tomatoes. Like so good. So good for my tummy. I like ate the whole bowl. I was into it. So that was awesome. Um, I have thrown up three times, just small amounts. Um, since we left the restaurant and I'm really really bloated now, but that's kind of par for the course So I'm gonna eat a regular sized meal. I um, mean it was not even that big of a bowl, but it was just a like, regular meal Um, it was just I'm um, so bloated my tummy is like tight 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 So this is our new bathroom mirror and I just want to show the bloat and pull my pants up so I can show like Yeah, it is whew, a lot of bloat and like I said before it's like very um hard like it's rock hard like it is it stays this stretched but yeah glad i ate but a lot of bloat it is thursday um i'm in the target parking lot gonna get some stuff for the new apartment on my lunch break, um, if you haven't noticed, ever since not really being able to eat lunch, I tend to do errands on my lunch breaks, so that's what I'm doing. As far as like what I've eaten today, I had two bananas, like spaced out. Um, I had some of these. I didn't bring it with me, the package, but it's like, the brand is called Unreal, and it's like these little mini coconut dark chocolate bars that are really, really good, so I had some of those throughout the morning, and then I had a kombucha like I always do when I had one protein bar, and I've had a little nausea on and off, but nothing too bad. As as far as the bloating, it's not nearly as bad as it was yesterday. Um, my appetite is still really low, which is why I'm doing these small little snacky foods every like hour or two. And I haven't eaten lunch or a real breakfast and I just probably won't. I'll probably have some kefir later in the day for another snack and then call it. It's just my appetite is just so low with all this going on and when so many foods cause me pain or even worse to throw up, I just I just want to eliminate all of that as much as I can when I'm going through the work day and trying to get work done. As far as other symptoms, today my biggest symptom is probably like fatigue and weakness and just like brain fog. Like I just feel really out of it and super weak and I just don't feel good. Um, but I'm going to take my second dose and then go into the target. I legit feel so weak right now that I feel like the only thing holding me up is this shopping cart. Like I was walking through Target just totally dazed. So I was really inspired by the Thai dinner that we had last night and so I made this beautiful bowl of broth and veggies and chilies and chili oil and garlic and rice noodles and herbs. I cannot wait to eat it. I'm so excited. And after I eat this, I'm going to take my final dose of the day. The dinner was delicious um, and I made enough that I could make it a ton this weekend. So I'm so happy. I like, cut up all the vegetables in advance and I got all this broth and it was just amazing. And it felt really good in my stomach. All those vegetables that were really fresh and herbs and rice noodles. And I used the bone broth for the broth. So it was really, really good on my tumbly. And we measured my stomach. I am bloated, but not as bloated as I normally am. According to the measurement, which was an inch smaller than it normally is. And according to Robert, like visually, I have not made my Miralax in a couple of days because of the move, but I'm reinstating it tonight. Um, I don't really feel like it's been making that big of a difference, either having it or not having it. I've still been pooping fairly regularly without it, so I don't know. But the doctor had to take it, so we're back on the Miralax train, and this is where I'm going to leave you for tonight, and I will talk to you tomorrow. It is Friday morning. So um, this today completes week one of antibiotic. I'm gonna go ahead and take them now before I go to work just so I can go ahead and get the first dose over with. I get to bring my leftover soup to work for lunch. So I'm very excited about that.
So, um, it's like midday. I'm leaving work to go on my lunch break um, because I'm just exhausted. Like, I just need a break. Like, I haven't even done that much today, but like, I'm so tired from yesterday when I was trying to get some stuff out of the old apartment and bring it to the new apartment and then set it up in the new apartment and then I cooked dinner. And so I just did a lot yesterday and it really exhausted me. We still have a lot to do, like moving wise. Um, we have to finish setting up the new apartment this weekend, but we also have to go to the old apartment and deep clean everything and get all the rest of our stuff out. So it's gonna be a big weekend and I'm already tired. So as far symptoms today I threw up one time it was like in the morning so I hadn't really eaten or drank much but I just threw up a little bit um, mostly bile like it is in the sink and then I've had some heartburn and some acid reflux throughout the day but that's it bloating really isn't as bad as it normally is so that's nice it's just nice to have a little less bloating I don't know if that's because I've been eating pretty gentle foods um, and just being really cognizant or if it's just because the antibiotic is finally working I don't know um, but yeah I'm gonna go home and then I'll take my next dose so I I'm stuck in traffic and for lunch, I actually ate my lunch prior to this, um, I, while well, I was like working and stuff, I had leftovers from last night so I had that delicious spicy broth with the herbs and the veggies and the rice noodles and I had a whole little container of that, what I had left over from last night and it was delicious. And then it, a bunch of it just came up and I had to open the door of my car and throw up outside of my car while sitting in traffic. And I know people saw it and I have no control over it so. That's my life, guys. So, it took me 50 minutes to get home because of all the construction and traffic that's going on right now. And I live about 10 minutes from my job. So I'm very frustrated. I'm very glad that it's Friday. I'm exhausted. I feel awful, like complete brain fog. Like, I feel like my brain has been like super overexerted, but I haven't really overexerted it that much. Like, I could barely function at work. I could barely get any work done. My, my coworker had to help me a lot. It's a complete brain fog. Just... I'm just out of it. And Robert said that this could be um, the SIBO die-off, that it caused symptoms like this, muscle weakness, extreme fatigue, brain fog, so maybe that's what's going on. So yeah, maybe I'm in the die-off phase, which would be good because then it means the SIBO is getting treated, but I feel like crap. Thank you for if you watched this far. I just really want to share the everyday experience of this illness and of the treatment of it for anyone else interested or going through it. I don't want to sugarcoat or cut anything out. I just want to show what's really going on.